Are you applying to Tufts University? They'll ask you to get creative, but I advise you not to lose your critical thinking skills. I'm sharing must-have elements to make sure these Tufts supplements are a success. Stay tuned. Thank you for joining me on my channel. For the best college essay advice, subscribe and hit the bell. So Tufts is saying, go ahead, take a risk, go somewhere unexpected, and great. But I'm saying, make sure you land those creative and critical thinking punches. So write with purpose. Don't be funny or quirky or weird without that purpose. Um, by the end of this video, I will show you exactly the elements that each supplement should have so you can pick the right one for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Josie with Write Your Acceptance. As a university faculty member and college essay expert, I know what they're looking for, and now it's your turn. Let's get to work. Essay one is your typical Why Us essay. Which aspect of Tufts are you kind of applying for? So why Tufts, right? I am linking above my Why Us kind of breakdown. It'll tell you exactly what elements need to be in this essay to make sure it's doing all it needs to do. Then essay two is pick one of these three and I'm gonna break down each one, all the intel you need so you know what to choose to really maximize your candidacy. Okay, so prompt option one, and I'm reading it to you. From recognizing breakdancing as a new Olympic sport, to representations in media, to issues of accessibility in our public transit systems. What is something that you can talk about endlessly all day long, why, and all that good stuff. So make this heartfelt and intellectual. You want to make sure that you are kind of driving in aspects of your identity, your culture, your community, how you kind of find value in, yes, within the classroom, but perhaps beyond the classroom, kind of intellectual pursuits. So here are a couple of student breakdowns of um, successful tough supplements. I have a student who wrote um, how she is a Hispanic and she can write about um, salsa or listen to salsa music all day long. And so she started the supplement with a couple of lyrics from her favorite song. And then she went into how she kind of, through music, has learned to appreciate um, her own kind of identity and her own culture in, on her terms, but then also what she's learned about kind of sociopolitical realities of various uh, Caribbean and Latin American countries. So she really kind of broadened it to not just what she likes, but also kind of what she's learned and how she's kind of made it into an intellectual passion of hers. Another successful essay was from a student who wrote about mangoes. So basically she starts with how to care for a mango tree. And then she goes into how she's gone to like 20 different festivals and how each mango is slightly different and the taste and the texture and all this stuff. And that leads into her work with Model UN at school and how on a day where she was kind of introducing herself, she was a newbie, she brought kind of a crate of various mangoes and it was a way of introducing and welcoming her to the group and breaking the ice. So from something that she kind of loves to talk about and kind of has found a, an interesting passion for mangoes and the festivals and all that good stuff, she brought in to kind of another intellectual aspect of her life and it was a nice way of saying how she's kind of part of this really cool Model UN um, group at school. Prompt two, whether you've built circuit boards or written slam poetry, created a community event or designed mixed media installations, tell us what have you designed, invented, engineered, or produced or what do you hope to do? So you want to think about the word built in the broadest of terms. Here are a few supplement um, ideas from former students. So um, I've seen students write about model skyscrapers, how they built them in their room from like popsicle sticks. I've seen students who were pre-health, pre-med, um, write about how they made kind of a makeshift IV bag for one of their teddy bears. Um, I've seen a student how uh, write about how she brought in a service dog to her school to work with the um, special needs students that she was um, kind of a TA for. And so how the service dog has created a new, um, basically student organization where students come and kind of think about how they're going to kind of um, impact different aspects of their school and community through their love of dogs. And so they've built a community. So think about that very kind of symbolically, right? Versus like an actual physical thing. Do you have an idea for a main college essay or a supplement that you want feedback on? Comment below, I'd love to help. So here's a third prompt and I'm reading it to you. We all have story to tell and with over 5,000 undergraduate students on our campus, that's over 5,000 stories, what's yours, basically. So if you did not write an identity driven common app essay, right? you want to make sure that you kind of bring in some elements of your identity. So this is a perfect place to do it because they're basically giving you open canvas, blank canvas. 
So um, a student, a successful supplement from a student was basically how she was from the state of Florida. She started talking about the Florida orange and how to kind of use the orange to do a ton of different funky recipes. And so she went from freshly squeezed orange juice to then kind of funkier pies and like different um, casseroles and stuff. And so then she talked about how each element of the um, orange is like her identity. And so she connected that. I've seen, um, this one is very broad. So I've seen from extracurricular activities and what they say about you to kind of, um, any kind of quirky aspects of yourself. You don't like odd numbers. You um, hate the color green and why. So as long as you kind of land that creative and critical punch, right? So you're not being quirky for no reason, then you can go crazy with this one. Do you want more topics, samples from students, and guidance? Download my free college essay template in the description below. You'll have a ton of info there that you can get started with or kind of continue working with. If you found this video helpful, please give us a tops, comment, like, and definitely share with your college bound friends. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.